All right, we're back in trespassing again. Oh man, it's good to be here. It's good to play this game again. It's good to have a little bit of a ha have a little bit of a break from Andromeda too. You know, got to keep it fresh. Woo! All right, so we just finished talking to everybody after what happened. Pretty sure. Hello, Ida. Wonderful. Everything going all right so far? Bye. No, everything's party. going terribly. I'll be here if you need me. <laughs> Kaid, I'm nocturnal. I'm gonna go bother Dorian again and see if he says anything. Always Whoops. wonderful to see you, Amatis. All right. It, it's hard to be a day shift schedule. Another time. I look forward to it. You miss me so congrats. Thank you. Yeah, to the, later today I'll be um, going and getting a couple things I don't have. Because I'll be going to Oregon. Which means it rains all the time there. And I don't have a very, I don't have, I don't have a rain suit really. I have like a rain jacket. But I need like a rain suit. Like, like pants and a jacket, so. Okay. What are, what's, our, what's our goal right now? I know we gotta hop back in, but. Investigate the Canari plot more. More investigating Canari plots. Oops, it does that. I forgot to let it sit for a while this morning, so. Oh, maybe it didn't drop that much. Oh, okay. All right. Rain! <laughs> yes! Yes, rain! <laughs> it's gonna rain in Oregon! Oh, rain, what are you doing in Oregon? <laughs> Does the menu screen music in Andromeda sound very similar to Inquisition? No, I definitely get a, a Mass Effect. It's kind of got the same... There isn't as much... I don't know. It's similar. I can see it. But it's definitely got a Mass Effect twist to me. It's just like the orchestral, like, sounds. Like, this. it's not like this big, like, dramatic. It's more like string instrument type stuff a little bit, I think. You, good, you liked my Andromeda videos? Good, awesome. Oh, that's so good. Well, I was gonna explode with excitement. I thought I was gonna explode with excitement. That, that Kanari. There There's Kanari. All right, we don't have the explodey ability yet. So, ooh, you're Ryder. Let's see, let's see, Rain. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh, everybody's making such nice Riders, and they're all so unique looking. Like, I thought we'd have a more of a difficult time making unique Riders. I really love her scar, and that tattoo looks so nice on her. Wow, I, th I thought we'd have a difficult time making unique riders, but every rider I've seen so far has been very unique. Gertrude, welcome! You can't make Wednesday, that's fine. Pinky Fox actually can't make the streams either because I stream during the day and it's during uh, school, so. No big, no big. Did we already go in that? Yeah, we went in that. That was the one we went in. Uh, speaking of the videos, can we not cut them mid-thought? I keep thinking your vid is buffering. Huh? Of the... Oh no, rain. Oh no. I mean, not rain, but rain. Rain, your, your rider looks really nice. Um, did I? Oh, no. It shouldn't have been a problem, Kayuk. 
Andromeda, where is it? Which one? The second one? It was 35 minutes. That was that's how long it was supposed to be. 35 minutes. I don't think it cut off where it wasn't supposed to. Did I cut it off mid thought? Did I just do that wrong? Oopsie daisy. I'm trying to make them a half an hour long. But I play in like hour increments, and so I have to cut them off somewhere where it's not a 45 minute episode and then a 15 minute one. What could that be? A bridge maker! Let's go, beer. All right. Let's see where they were going. Nope, we're going up here first. To the secret alluvian! Oh, Black Femme Geek, thank you for the auto host. Also, she showed me her rider this morning on Twitter, and she's beautiful. I love seeing your guys' riders. Share more riders with me. I really, I really am just so impressed that everybody has, I mean, it's almost, I mean, they say it in creativity. Oh my gosh, I just noticed. I don't know if I noticed this last time, but it's a little tiny Aravel. That is so cute. I want one. I want a tiny Aravel. Oh my gosh, that's cute. But no, yeah, uh, they, they, you know, in art, it's always said that create that, that, that limitations can encourage creativity. So I think given the limitations we had in the character creator in Andromeda, we've all been very, very creative. Cheese. Look out. This was the battle that seemed kind of glitchy for me. Like, it just took forever, even though nobody was dying. Look at me and Dorian fighting together! You're almost dead! Oh, dang it. I think, okay, I think that one is dead now. Did it work? Nope. There we go. I can't wait to get the increased damage on panicked enemies. It's gonna be great. Oh, do I have? Yeah, I do. Don't try to flank us, demon. Squeak. Can I sex you? No, get things by. I know, quit. I know. That's my constant question to everybody. Because I hear there's just like random like encounters with random NPCs that you can just have casual sex with. And I'm like, can I please? <laughs> when does that start happening? <laughs> it depends though. It really depends. Depend on on what I think of them. Nice. Do the thing. Yeah. Quick. And do that. And then blow them up. Talon's armor doesn't look good on- It doesn't look good on the female elf rogue, really? No, I love this armor. It's a good armor. Oh, hey, let's do this. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, wow, I did not realize I could do that. Bam, why not, you know? No, I'm trying to get this one down. <clears throat> See how long this battle is taking? And nobody's dying. Like, not, none of my people are dying. It's just taking forever. Oh, really? I was actually gonna. 
I was actually gonna check that out. I wasn't sure if mods had started already. That's awesome. I'm so glad. You can always use more mods. It looks stupid. No, Gertrude. No. Stop breathing ice on everything. Oh, well, Cassandra died. You need to die. Let's see if I can get up. No, nope, okay, okay. Where'd you go, demon? Got you. Oh, and you guys, did you get the other one? Cool. The rogue arm look bad on Canari. Jeez. That's a bummer. I hate that when that happens. The eye that weeps. Elegance eludes me. The aim is to improve the coordination of the body and sharpen the perception of the heart. But grass do not live long enough to plumb their worth. This batch is lost. Begin again. And soda pop. Interesting. It's an interesting mix of soda pop. My dad tried to make a vanilla Coke with like um, Coke and like, like Coca Cola and vanilla extract stuff. And um, I'm, I'm testing it out. <laughs> uh, inventory. I want to see what the eye that weeps does. What do you do? What do you do? Amulet is heavy for its size, and the metal is clammy. The gem in the center contains a liquid that glows a sluggish red in the bright light. 10% attack. Mm. I'll keep it, but I'm not... That 10% attack isn't... Well, let's see. Hang on. What's the... On two pieces. You do get a 10% attack speed. What's my... Regenerate mana or stamina. Well, let's try the eye that weeps for a bit And I should be faster. I have a 10% faster attack speed Plus the 10% attack. Oh, no, so it's a 10% attack plus then a 10% attack speed. Okay All right. All right. That's good. That's good Ooh, ooh It glitches. The armor glitches. Jeez. Larry, here's your rider. Oh my gosh, she looks so good! Wow! I love that. Okay, you guys, if you watched the video, you know that I was in love with how many different color browns there were in the hair. With like red tints and stuff. They look really good. They look really good. She looks really great. I am so pleased with how many unique riders we've been able to make. You guys, you guys have seriously done a great job. Ooh, Gertrude, you just finished the Jaws of a Con. It was so good. Nice. I'm so glad you liked it. It's it's my favorite. It's very good. You did that eyeshadow on your femme rider that has a digital style. And made it skin tone to color, so it looks more like a pattern design in her eyebrows. Ooh. Is that? Let me see. Let's see. Kayuk, we're just showing off our 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 our, our, our writers still. <laughs> oh, is that what you did? That's really cool. Like I can see the pattern now. Like I mean, I saw. It, I, th I thought it was just the eyeshadow, but I see. I see closer up now what you've done, Quint. That's so cool. Your character got pushed back seven levels. Yikes! But now you can do DLC with Solus. Okay, good. The DLC with Solus is pretty good, especially in Hack On. It's pretty cool. He doesn't say much in Descent, but you know.
I reach a pitch level that animals like. <laughs> I do. I get really high pitched. I probably it's like a dog whistle, but it's a cat whistle. Rip headphone users. Ha! How far into Andromeda? I'm. Oh, I just got Drac and PV on EOS. Which did anybody else? Have a difficult time getting through EOS. Like at some point, I kind of lost. I I'm gonna have to edit out some stuff because I just didn't know what to say. I'm only and I checked the map. I th the thing was huge, right? In the first area you're at, I got the first outpost set up and everything. Seventy-six percent viability on EOS. And I looked at the map later and I zoomed out. I've only covered a third of the map. I've only covered a third of it. And I'm like, oh my. Gosh! <laughs> this thing is massive! Wait, I think. Can we go over here? Yeah. So that's how the Kunari moved the paths. Na, 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 na. This is the creepiest thing to just watch it like appear before you. Soup and popcorn! <laughs> nice! Uh, you aren't supposed to go through it after you get to East, so just get out ASAP. Yeah, I believe I'm leaving. I think because what, what, what it sounded like was the guy was like, Come back later, we'll have more for you to do. And I was like, Okay, so I don't have to stay, you know, like I don't have to do it 100% right now. Um, but I think it, it's probably because I'm still learning how the game is working. I'm also really not. I'm still having a hard time with the user interface. Like, it's just so cluttered to me. I don't know. It's just, there's so much going on, and all I want to do is play the game. I don't want to have to craft things. I don't want to have to stop and pick things up. I don't want to do the stupid Sudoku puzzles. I cheated on that Sudoku puzzle. I took one look at it, and I was like, nope. And I looked up the answers for all of them then and there. I'm like, I don't care. I want to play the game. I am not wasting my time on Sudoku puzzles. <sighs> Wildly it's idiosyncratic of both. Hmm. I think this guy is talking about Solus, and he's some Avar guy. I don't know who or where or why or what. Yeah. Okay, no, you can't see me. Nicely done. No, leave my boy alone. Flanking damage. Um. Bull, wake him up. I think. Let's throw down a jar. Why not? No, Cassandra, throw down a jar. Oh, God. I did not mean for everybody to hold their position. That was not my intention. Can I clear orders? Yes, go. Whoopsie daisy. Almost got everybody killed. I think I even added wasps to the to the jar. Whoop! Dog might start barking. Hold up! Hold up! Oh yes, Gertrude, go get Pop because Pop is the lifeblood of the gods, and we need that. It works like Inquisition zones where you gotta go back after getting further. Okay. You just like travel on the galaxy map. I love the galaxy map, Rain. I love like flying through space. It's beautiful, and I love when I get out when I when I'm in my ship. I can look out and I can see the area I'm in out the windows. That's the best part, I think. You've cleared most of the planets. You've been to you except for one or two missions. But yeah, you're level thirty-nine. Oh my gosh, Kayuk! There's a I 
can't wait to get to the giant robot battles. I've seen a picture. I've seen a couple pictures. I assume they're like remnant thingamajiggies. I don't know, but I want to giant. I want to fight the giant robot thresher moss. <laughs> I want to fight a giant robot thresher moss. That's what I think they are. You can't skip each one. No, man. I love being able to see like. All, like the they worked so hard on the art in space. It's so cool. I want to skip if all the vaults if it takes as long to get through every single vault as it did to get through the first one, I'm going to be peeved because it was so mu I mean it was cool, right? Very very cool. But it was a bunch of walking. It was basically just a bunch of walking. There were even only a couple things to scan or pick up. And I was just like, ugh, can we get on with the game, please? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, no, okay, uh, this one. Detonate. That guy, that guy's teabagging over there. <laughs> Okay, so regeneration doesn't bring them back. Dang it, I thought I, I thought I could do that. Let's see, where's my... Okay, so I can discharge my my thing, but I can't actually use it. That's kind of lame. Like, I can't use it, right? Let's see, I, I can't use my Mark of the Inquisitor. for a second. You've done a few of the giant battles. Wait, what? Caillou? No, no, you don't. What? They are what? What? They are what? I, <laughs> I have, I have swear words asterisked out, <laughs> and I have no idea what you said there. You think you have ten percent done? LOL. It's just a little way to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and most of the vaults are shorter than the first one. Good, Grammy. Hey. Rain, you started with a male rider, but you didn't like him, so you restarted with a fem rider. That's the point of being an explorer first and fighter second. We have to remember we're not a shepherd. Yeah, so like the exploring aspect, yeah. Like seeing the 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 space, or is it, is it about space or about not taking freaking how long it takes to get through the freaking vaults? I mean, if there was more to explore in the vaults, yeah, if I could scan more, more glyphs, if I could scan more of their technology and, like, the plants and stuff, I'd be all up for it. But as it is, it's just a kind of a bunch of empty space. Two enchantments with matrices should have meshed. Caught. Enchantment in tandem. Oh my gosh! Do you guys think this might actually be sandal? post whatever happened to him in the crossroads or is this old is this much older than sandal could be that would be really really interesting if it was though or is it the bind that guides 10% critical chance plus a 10% movement speed all right let's put it on see how it goes Yeah, we do seem to be going a little bit quicker. Nothing excessive. You don't want it to be too much. Otherwise, you'll start falling off cliffs. 
Uh, the giant battles are bad. There's more to fight. You just have to do puzzles or fight destroyers. Dude, Rain, me too! Okay, and I, okay, so my character so far, I'm in the Adept Specialization. I did unlock the Sentinel one too, but with the Adept Specialization, rank one means that instead of using the jump jet to jump or dodge, you use Bionics! And so, like, I noticed it at one point, I was like, why does it look like I'm using Bionics instead of, um, the jump jet? Because I was, like, covered in biotic energy when I was dodging and jumping, and I was like, what is... And then I re when, I, when I looked later, I realized that it's it's the rank one perk to being an adept is instead of actually using the jump jet, you get to use biotics instead. So it looks wicked sweet. I love it. I love that. It looks really cool. And I love the way the powers work now. I've really only used... Uh, Pull and throw, but also the uh, the um the energy drain is so cool. Like it arcs a little bit, and it's like this shooting stream of like electrical energy. They did a really good job making the battles look really really cool. I I've only died once so far, um because I'm I I don't know. Is there a way to control your companions? Like is there a way where I can like can I go in and be like hey use this ability you know or something. Or is it just something where, like, their abilities will automatically combo with one of yours? Because there are times where I'd really like to chuck in the, the uh, Liam's grenade before we start a fight. But I don't see any way to actually, like, in the middle of battle, go in and tell them what to use, you know? Which might be because you can't actually pause the battle anymore to ch to like use a variety of abilities i also don't know how to access different profiles like i just got flamethrower and it's my fourth ability and i don't know how to put that onto a different profile and be able to use it like i'm not sure i don't know That's does that open up later be ready okay okay this section is actually really important Somehow, in some way. But look, okay, okay, okay. We played Descent. We didn't see any Mythal statues, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. Actually, I don't remember. But I think in Trespassers, the only time you find elven ruins in the Deep Roads. Also. Oh, Gertrude, you're never gonna get yelled at, but I definitely recommend playing Mass Effect. The original trilogy is superb. Not that it's problems, of course, but... Uh, to be honest, I think it's it's the best of the Bioware series in, in many ways. It's it's a lot more uh, concise. Uh, it's, a, it's a tighter story in some ways. Being a job more than me is a salvage okay to sell. You upgraded your nomad and you could climb walls and fly. Oh my gosh, Kai. It was so... Okay, it took me way too long to figure out that there are two modes to the Nomad. Because it didn't tell you. I, I just happened to look in the left corner. And I was going... I was stuck at like 50 miles an hour, right? I'm going 50 miles an hour. And I'm like, this is so lame. I thought the Nomad was supposed to be this super fast thing. Like, chucking it all over the place. And I'm just trundling along all through Eos at 50 miles an hour. And I was like, oh, this is so lame. And then I looked in the bottom left corner after a while, and then I noticed next to the Nomad, for my controller, there was an LB next to it, and I was like, what does LB do? And I clicked it, and my Nomad went down, and all of a sudden I was like, whoa, it's going like 100 miles an hour, and I was like, oh my gosh! But it didn't tell me that! It didn't tell me how to do that! So I was very mad! Yo. You who serve Fenharel. I don't serve Fenharel. Great, great. Dang it, I did that wrong. Here, well, let's just use this. Yeah, try to get me. Levensies! Levensies here! Hello, Lemon Z! Ten years of Mass Effect is still Vanguard. Nice rain. And loadout, you can change and arrange up to four loadout. Well, I saw that, but I was having a. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I just need to look at it some more. You still only have three abilities, Kayak? You just leveled them up all the way? Oh, yeah, Gertrude. Mass Effect 2 should still be a free download on Origin for PC. <laughs> can I sex you? No? Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Uh, 
the game tells you to change the six wheel drive. Well, and I didn't know how to change. I didn't know you could change. I didn't realize there was anything to change. I was just like, doo -dee -doo -dee -doo, you know, like driving along and it, it changed it for me. Like, I don't know what happened, but it changed it. I don't know what happened. It just like was in slow mode the whole time. And I was so, I was so blah. I was just so upset. Uh, yeah, so I changed it at some point and then never changed back. You can only ever use three ability. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> How else can I sex you? <laughs> Father. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know how... But you can change loadout in the middle of battle, I assume. And so I just don't know how to even put flamethrower on a different loadout. And so I'm just like, uh, what? What am I doing? I don't know. I need to look at it some more. But it's just the the, the user interface is a bit confusing, and so I'm just kind of like, I just want to play, you know? Oh, I've got the height advantage. Give me back the weight. and flank advantage. This has to be so weird for a bull, though. Kunari were up to. So let's go see, shall we? I really hope, I really hope Bull has some more dialogue about this because, I mean, these are his people that we're killing, and it's the first time we've ever fought Kunari, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. For me, it's the left bumper, Larry. For me, it's the left bumper. It changes the six-wheel drive and changes back and forth. So, but it took me way Looks too like long to figure it out. Haven. Ah, yeah. They got, like, attacked by, like, a... Uh, Ooh, Veil Quartz. Nice, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -mm, appreciate it. As a professional APC driver, changing between drive modes happens constantly in rough terrain. Yeah. You have two profiles using one that's biotic based, one that's tech based. Yeah, Grammy, I want, um. I just loaded up now. I'll play a drive for the streaming hotel, anybody? <laughs> I want to be able to use two profiles at least, but I'd like to try to get an ability in every single, like, I don't know, there's so many cool ones, you know, there's so, they, they've really upped the ante on their, on the abilities and stuff, it looks really, really neat. So I really want to, I want to try one from every, like, specialization. I mean, I, th I don't think I really noticed last time, but the actual architecture that we were walking in is elven. It's not like, oh look, there's a mythal statue and we're walking in the middle of deep, deep roads architecture. We're not. This is elven architecture with mythal statues out here. And they're in, in Origins, there's that one, oh no, I think it's actually, it's in a, no, it's in the Witch Hunt DLC, it's in the Witch Hunt DLC, where you find out that there were elves living underground at one point in a city. The, I think it was Shale City, actually, and then the dwarves got wind of it, and they didn't want to jeopardize, like, the other dwarves got wind of this, this dwarven city harboring elves, and they didn't want to be in trouble with Tevinter, so they massacred the entire city of dwarves and elves, and I don't know if this is that city, or if this is something else, but there's Ben Harrell statues, too. So many good games, so much money gone, I know. You plan to stick to one profile? No, man, I'm planning on experimenting with a bunch of different profiles and seeing which one I like. Although I won't lie, picking up an enemy with pull and then tossing them off of a ledge with throw is one of the greatest joys I've ever had in my life, ever. Ever. I did not real. I picked up like four people in a row at one point and I was just like, 
I was just picking him up and throwing him off the ledge. Just picking him up and throwing him off a ledge. And I was like, I am a god. <laughs> it was great. It was really fun. Oh, was this the way out? What? Did I just go back? Did I go backwards? I was not paying attention. I could stream the multiplayer. I have not even tried the multiplayer, so I'm a little bit nervous. You haven't bought any cool new games, and you just not enough time. You feel guilty spending all that money. I know, Lemon Z. Feels a bit too much like Joe 90 switching profiles on the fly for you at the moment. There's also the Dalish origin story that had a Falandin. That's true, the Falandin statue and the Alluvian down underground. I think I went back. Did I go backwards? Just want to load out where you don't have to shoot people because guns suck. Dude, you can totally have that. It's amazing. Uh, this is oh, oh, Rain, I totally mentioned the fact that Salarians are taller. I totally mentioned that. Because, uh, because that is some, that is really cool. He's, like, all the, all the Salarians are super tall. And it's, it's definitely noticeable how much tall. The Turians, though, the Turians are also really tall. They're taller than they were in the trilogy. But, yeah. Uh, and they all seem to have bad back. I think that's just the way they're designed. Frog Rider just woke up out late. It's okay, Frog Rider. I woke up late, too. We really haven't done much of anything. When you go to Andromeda, go to Profiles, and the Back Options button, go to Favorites, and that's when you... And I've been in the Favorites, but I don't know how to get the flamethrower ability onto my secondary loadout. I just, I'm gonna have to mess with it some more. I think while I'm recording, I'm just too impatient. I'm too impatient Amid to look at that, things. The Canari have a huge operation here. Yeah, but for what? I swear somebody had a speaking bubble here at some point. We could bring the whole cavern down. This place isn't stable. We just finished dealing with earthquakes. Hi, Frog Raider. Yeah, hi, Frog Raider. There's a sword and I need, I wanna, I do really wanna specialize in melee. I actually just found out after like playing for like 10 hours, I finally found out how to use the melee button and the melee button is cool. Once again, your mark is glowing. Are you all right? Well, maybe the anchor can make itself useful down here. Notice how we did not answer the question. Uh, what is it? Um... The Kanari were definitely up to something. Excavating that cave-in, maybe. What are the unique statues of Mythal, I'm pretty sure. It could be somebody else, technically. But I think it, it, it has the Mythal kind of like the wing and the headdress design, sort of? But it could be somebody else. And I think there's a bunch of these. Look at their eyes glow! Damn eyes are glowing! Come on out. Come on out, guys. Come on out. Don't let me jump off the ledge, though. Watch there out. we go! Expo Look at all that damage I did with that explosive arrow noise. Ah, yes. I am very effective at taking care of those. How desperate are the Kanari to work in these conditions? I wonder why these guys died, if they got swarmed or not. Um. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh. My notification says only been streaming around 30 minutes. Yeah, I really want to get the biotic sword thing. I want to do the sword thing so bad in Andromeda. You think Morden was just really short? I think all all Solarians were short, and now they're all of a sudden taller. It's because the, the the new engine, the Frostbite engine, can actually handle making such a variety of of uh, heights. I think humans shrunk and cry all sleep. There's a female. What? A female slayer? What? No way. You hope they put cool makeup options? The makeup options were rad in Andromeda. Yep, yep, yep. 
This is the area where you always accidentally trigger a romantic Dorian talk in the middle of combat, so be careful. Okay. Or are the episodes upgrades and tense gear are amazing? Ha <laughs> Gertrude! I spend so much time doing that. The hammer and the sword were also in the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Oh. Everything I do is amazing. You stop it. That's just you. I don't do that a lot, <laughs> says Frogger. I'm not into that. No, no, no. Uh, assign it in your current loadout and then make it your favorite. Okay. I'll figure it out. Is it in a strange twist? The elven gods are really Protheans that study the native that they is. Ah! <laughs> The dramatic eyelash ado that was over the nose. That's, oh, the dramatic eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, Lemon Z. The eyeshadow is amazing. It's amazing. In, uh, the, the eyeshadow and the blush, I was so tempted to go with the scales. Oh man, I was, I was so tempted. So tempted. Stuck to assault rifles and pistols, but I really want to try a shotgun. After all the places we have been, <laughs> I hardly expected to find us in another cave. <laughs> Come now, this isn't nearly the gloomiest cave we've been dragged to. <laughs> Some of the prettier ones. Oh, good. Yee. Let me just make a whole bunch of noise. Look, someone up ahead. I see you. I think he's human. That's so fun to say when you're an elf. It's like, oh, look, it's a human. Yeah. A good looking female elf rogue armor. Um. I mean, the Dalish stuff is nice. Stay back. Oh. Wait. Your hand. Are you the Inquisitor? Odd to find a human down in the deep roads at all, let alone surrounded by Kunari. We don't have much time. Please. What the Vidasala is I doing. I love his, you his, have to his stop clothes. Her. The Vidasala? That's a high ranking Vinasrath. Cool. Specializes in magic, finding, studying, stopping. I not really anymore. like Bull's. Uh, I don't care whether you serve Fenharan or not. Something has to I, stop I like her. Bull's bit of bit, whatever it is. I don't know. Why did the Kunari think that the Inquisition serves Fenharel? I don't know. The Vidasala said it, and well, you're Dalish. It made as much sense as anything. We've had agents of Fenharel causing trouble all over the crossroads. Sabotage, making spirits attack us. I assume the Inquisition was their army. That you came here because Fen Harrell told you to. Well, sort of, I guess. Kind of. He did did he did hint at it, didn't he? You made an absolutely great sniper rifle and kills enemies before they even see you. Jeez, Frog Raider. You have a rapid fire sniper rifle that shoots sticky grenades? And I've seen that I just haven't even looked at the crafting system really, but I've seen that you can like I mean you can add some wicked attachments. I'd really love to shoot like laser beams, you know? Is Larry a Fallout 4? I don't or a Fallout fan? I don't know. <laughs> you really like the sniper in the Fallout 4? Well, the Fallout system is quite different, I think, from, from the Bioware system. Who are you exactly? My name is Jaren. Sir Jaren, once. That's right, was he was a Templar. Kirkwall, until I joined the Kune. Strange You're joke. Kunari. Kirkwall was... Madness. That's right, right. Chaos. He was in Kirkwall. The Kunari were like the eye of a storm. I stand for order and discipline. 
protecting the innocent from magic. That's actually not but big of a glad. jump, then. It's as mad as Meredith ever was. That is interesting. This poor guy is just trying to do his best, protecting innocent people from, you know, the bad things that can happen in magic. And the Kuhn says it does that, but it does it in such a way that is very, very not healthy for either party, I think. But the, it, you know, the initial, like, you know, what's, you know, the theory and, you know, on paper, it probably looks really nice. Like, not too much of a jump from him protecting people as a Templar to him protecting people from magic as a cute, as a member of the cute. Uh... What do you mean? This Vidasala is not doing her job anymore. Almost a complete reversal, actually. Oh. This place is a Lyrium mining and processing center. The Canari need it for... Have you ever heard of Sarabas? Dangerous thing. It's what the Kuhn calls mages. Even as a Templar, I'd never seen anything like the power Sarabas can unleash. And now Vidasala is giving them Lyrium. A lot of Lyrium. It's part of something she calls Dragon's Breath. That's a load of crap. There's no way the Vidasala would let any Sarabas within a thousand feet of Lyrium. There's more to it than that, but oh, I okay. couldn't find out what. This is interesting. The Canari don't like it when you ask too many questions. That's interesting. I, I didn't bring Bull last time, so having his perspective on this in the moment is nice. Where are we? Why are there elven mirrors in the deep roads? This place is close to something like a Lyrium spring. The more we oh, mine, Oh, but, but we know what the Lyrium is now, right? As for the mirrors, I don't know. Maybe the elves were mining here too. Hmm. I mean, it's it's Titan blood. What are you doing down here? The Canari wanted me to teach them everything I knew about Lyrium. Where it comes from, everything it can do, how we put it to use. I knew enough from my time in the Order. They figured out more. I'm not sure how. Maybe they got to the Carter. The Canari can't be mining their own Lyrium. It kills anyone who tries other than dwarves. It killed the Canari at first. The Canari workers have a discipline only Tranquil can match. And they're quick learners. They figured it out. Hmm. Why give the Cerebas more power? What does the Vidasala want them to do? She said it would save the South. That can mean only one thing. An invasion. This mine is the only source of lyrium the Canari have. They're using Gatlock, the explosive powder in the round casks, to mine, so they don't have to touch raw lyrium. If you get the primers from Central Supply, you can prime the Gatlock and detonate it. The mines will go up in flames. Uh... Once things start exploding, every Canari down here will notice. You're right, they will. Deep Stalkers and Cavins will cut off reinforcements. But they'll still come when they hear trouble. You've got to find the Vidasala to end this war before it begins. All right, yeah, let him out. He helped us. Ah, we'll let him out. There's no telling how bad things will get when I destroy the mine. You'd better get moved. Why do you say that as a proof, bull? Good luck, Inquisitor. Why? Let's go. We have a Lyrium mine to ruin. Oh, <laughs> Tally! Yeah, I love Tally. He's so great. You were sad that playing as a, I assume you meant Kunari in this, you were never as powerful as, powerful as a Cerebus. It would kind of break the game a little and be too niche, but still. I mean, that's the thing, is it would be really cool if there were actually special special perks to your race in the game. You know, like, like visible, very obvious ones. Nice, Caillou. You didn't know, you didn't know there were different loadouts that you can just switch on the fly? I knew that, but I didn't, I don't know how to... I don't know how to make them. <laughs> I don't know how to get them to go. Stone Smith, welcome. You're the same color as Frog Raider right now, so I thought I took me a second. But welcome, Stone Smith. Welcome, welcome. You need to play Dragon Age Two to really explain this guy. Yes, yes, yes. You, to, to fully understand, you need to play Dragon Age Two to get what he's talking about. Really, if you bring a Canary Mage down here, she has so many good lines. Really? Hey, how come people ask me to sex me and not anyone else joining? <gasps> Nobody else gets the sex? What? Lemonsy, you get it all. Congratulations. <laughs> 
Bull disapproves because he was a traitor to the, to the Canari. But Bull is technically a traitor to the Canari. That make, that does make sense. I mean, it would be a knee-jerk reaction, right? For Bull to disapprove, perhaps. But then later, he's like, oh, I guess I'm a traitor to the Kuhn, too. Guy, you better get going, guy. See, now we're in... This is this is dwarven architecture, I'm pretty sure. Some of, at least... Yeah. Because they, they a lot of times have lava in these, like, little window things. So we got a nice little mix of architecture. I am the only sex option in chat. Yay! Oh, Kayuk is kind of busy. You really came back at the end of the wrong combo. Ida, welcome! Lemon <laughs> Seek gets all the sex. Can we sex me? No? Thanks, <laughs> buddy! <laughs> right, okay, Frog Raider, Bull is still adapting to being a traitor. As Stonesmith's only available as a romance option for dwarves. You're not gonna have many options, Stonesmith! <laughs> I'm gonna herd them all, and then pow, pow And then this one, pow Don't bite me, the nasties. Nasties. I have low health, what happened? Did I get bit? Oh my gosh, wait a second. I just fully realized how nasty the deep stalkers are. Look at those mouths. They're like walking lamprey eels. Oh my gosh, that's so nasty. Quick, throw a bomb, throw a bomb, they're really gross. Wait, what? Oh no, I took off my belt that gives me the extra grenades, no! I'm gonna have to change that, I have, I have to have my extra grenades. I can't, I can't see anything, I can't see anything. I am dying again, what the heck? What the heck? Guy, don't get eaten by deep stalkers. Goodbye. Ooh, punch. I'm the only one with, with no um guard on hit armor or anything. Which is fine. I like this armor, but you know. Let's see, if I put it if I put it back. Okay, I gotta get I gotta get out of, I gotta get out of battle first. If I put it back on, will it give him back to me? I had grenades. Nope, didn't give them back to me. Dang it. Oh man. Oh well. Oops. I guess I'll I'll put the other I'll put the other the belt on for now, but that I screwed myself up. I've been playing with mods for Inquisition. Never really before. Yeah, I, I there's only a couple things I'd really like to change in Inquisition, and there's really nothing I feel like I need to mod in Mass Effect. Yeah, you can really see the deep. Yeah, you can. Like they're gross. The deep stalkers are gross. You're only available for good-looking people. Krogan dies, Lady. Oh, Bulls wanted a straight up fight. Blowing stuff up is not as fun for him. Yeah. <laughs> Did you give yourself glorious hair? These suckers are cute, gross. Wow, 60 to what? What kind of random number is that? Your canary is long flowing curls? Oh, Ida, you have no idea. Actually, that is one of the things that I was so mad in the original game. I didn't want to make a canary female until I could have long flowing white hair. Because that's what they showed in the tarot card, and that's what I wanted, and I, and I wanted gold tattoos. And when I realized I couldn't have that, I was so mad. So mad. So mad. You're a romance option, Kai, but only if you bought the DLC. Well, dang. Yeah, you're a gold digger. I don't think there's actually any point in... Oh, hello. In lighting up the, the area. Canari make these things explode. Maybe we can use them to get out of here. Gatlock, yeah? That'll definitely explode. Be careful. I run far away. 
find Gatlock primers. There's purple fire in here somewhere. It shouldn't be this dark. Dwarven buildings are yeah. lit by melting rock. That doesn't just go out. Okay, because I was, cause we haven't had this problem before with it being so dark. Usually it is lit up with the molten rock. Interesting point, Dorian! Nobody I'd rather crack skulls with than all of them. Aw, Bull! You're too sweet, Bull. Too sweet. Look. Sigils, yeah, I don't use sigils. Maybe someday I'll use sigils, but you somebody told me once, and I agree, that you really have to craft your your uh, your abilities and skills and your accessories and armor and weapons, everything around whatever sigil you use. Um Well, I have a fiery bow, right? But we'll just maybe we'll have Dorian do something. Um That was not what I meant. That was not what I meant. But hey, nobody noticed, so it's all good. Yay, Dorian, you're the greatest. Here they come. Yeah, they come. I haven't been hit by a, um by one of those Chucky spears yet. I was so jealous when I saw the Kunari with spears, like fighting me with giant spears. I was so jealous. So jealous. I'm, I'm trying to, oh, okay, I was like, I'm trying to shoot. Almost fell off the edge. Save my my my. I don't know. I was trying to say something. Oh, another one to detonate! Ah, run away! All right, good. Didn't damage my pals. Why did I detonate those? Punch club. You love bull. Bulls and Cassandra's relationship is so funny. I haven't been able to experience it in enough. I don't think I didn't bring. Bull is a pretty recent addition to my squad, but I always felt like him and Tal would get along really well. You just have to work for me, Caillou. Okay. Hey, hey. Best one, Rav Squirrel Health. What? Potions up to ninety nine. Are you joking me, Ida? What one is that? Oh man, I need that one. Because he's a Krogan and I'm wealthy? <laughs> what? Does Talon wear a battle mate? Yeah, he wears a battle mate shit. Funny thing is they, they in the in the concept art they show rogues with a hood, but for some reason the hood is labeled as a battle mage hood, even though it's looks better it technically is kind of what your idea for a rogue would be, is to wear a hood, but it's, it's a battle mage hood. But yeah, it's, it's just a battle mage hood. What's a Chucky spear? What? Let me see. It's a spear that you chuck. Obviously. <laughs> I keep messing up your skill points. Oh, is it causing... I don't even have much money, like, at this point, Kayuk and Andromeda. I'm just like, uh, like, I haven't sold anything. I just keep picking up whatever crap's on the ground. Apparently there's an upgrade. I saw on Twitter today one of the developers said that there's a wood wood flooring um, upgrade for the Normandy and I was like give it to me. I gotta find the wood flooring upgrade. I want that. It's a spare you It's to spare you at possess dolls what yeah. <laughs> uh it's made from special chucky wood. Very rare, very rare chucky wood. Oh Ida. Ida, you're the best. Oh my gosh. More healing potions. Oh, yes. Uh, 
and I wouldn't have to get the health upgrade, like the health potion upgrade thingies. I could use those points on something else. Haha, <laughs> Kayuk, surprisingly, I'm okay with that. Heart out eyes emoji. You have about 8,000 credits, Frog Rider, even after crafting tier 3. They have tier Pathfinder armor? I did because I got the deluxe edition. I got this cool um, scavenger armor that I really like. I still haven't gotten my special um, Pathfinder helmet, I don't think. I'm not quite sure how to get that. The one that I got for doing the, like, briefings online, but... Ben Harrell statue. Yo, guy. Oh, wow, you died. You didn't die, but. I'm really trying to use this ability on you really badly, and it's just not working. I'm not quite sure why. There we go. <laughs> I pressed it like four times. I've lived with the Canari threat all my life. If it escalates, it won't just be to Binta fighting them. Oh, look. Nice. Dorian hasn't, doesn't usually say much about the Canari either. Him and Bull do. All right. All right. Don't trigger a fight, okay? Cold stone, dark tunnel. Dang it! Surrounded by extremely hostile Canari. Not the face out of prison for the man no coming amongst us. I missed you. I'm just happy you're back. Oh, that was no. I mean, that was supposed to be funny. No, I was trying to be funny with that one. Like I missed you too. <laughs> okay, that's actually really funny to do that during a fight. Like we're just fighting, and it's like blah blah blah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see if we can get if there was an auto save somewhere close by. Yeah, let's try to do that one because I didn't like that one. That was that was lame. I wanted to, I wanted it to be funny. Like I missed you too, you know. Okay, first we'll fight and then we'll trigger it. But it was funny to do it while fighting. Yo! Now you're gonna die. I would do the jumpy flippy thing, but I'm afraid I'm gonna jump off. Okay, I did it. I'm gonna try to stand back here for a second while these guys do this. Uh, no, keep that. If you keep fighting, guys, feel free. I just wanted to look at chat for a second. Uh, that's what you what? What did I? When I said Chucky. You were thinking of the. Creepy doll. Oh, the possessed doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have tier five. They made Chucky too speed. Uh, you have about 8,000 credits. Wait, wait, I'm, 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 I'm going. I'm trying to find. Oh, the Chucky Spears were throwing at possessed dolls that are possessed by dead serial killers. Yeah! Could change its mind about who's gonna hit. You have 13k at the moment. You were at, six, at 19k, but you have respect a lot. And tier five armor and weapons. Frog Rider, I haven't respect once. Yeah, Kayuk is apparently doing really well. It's okay, go for the defender. No! Always run past them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, we got this. It's taking my teammates ages to kill this guy, though. Wait, where did it go? Okay, there it is. Okay. I was like, no! You've never done the nice sentimental one, though? That was cute. I mean, it was, but it's not really Talon's thing, I don't think, so. I mean, he is sometimes, but lately he's been a bit too mushy, so we're trying to Cold not be so stone, mushy. Dark tunnels and surrounded by extremely hostile canary. Not the place I'd have chosen for a romantic homecoming amongst us. Mm. Wandering into peril is practically how we met. <laughs> yes, practically a second. 
Done immediately. Immediately, my love. That was cute. That was cute. I liked that one. Okay, Bull, take a regen potion. And everybody stand next to Bull. Wyvern down bed? That's true. Do they uh do they have I mean I guess they do have feather, but do they? Do they have a couple feathers? I don't know. Maybe the baby ones have down. Can't blame your teammates. You're supposed to be. That's true. I am the highest DPS in the in the in the squad. That's true. And I think they technically There's do less the damage. Platforms. Now we just need primers. Oh, okay. All right. So we found a platform, and now we need primers. The sneaky way. Sneaky, sneaky. This cavern is barely holding together. How can you tell? You're not a dwarf. You're an elf. And why, why is my elf inquisitor not saying anything about the statues of Mythal that are just everywhere? They're everywhere. Why aren't we saying anything about that? You are blind, inquisitor. Uh, what? Who said that? S seriously, who said that? Was it you? You a scary lady. They found us. I found them actually to be. Where'd you go? Right there. Woo! There she is. There she is. Woo! Sure. So, is there another one? I think there's another one. Nope. Okay, not another one. I remember those Kunari hiding in the dark. I remember them. The only reason I saw her was because her enemy thing was lit up. There's so many fun little paths to take here. I mean, they basically just blew holes wherever they couldn't get to. I really hit the high notes. My bad, my bad. Should I turn, should I turn down my commentary? Am I being really loud? No babies were hurt in the making of this bed. Oh, that is terrifying. That that's gr that that's kind of yeah, Lemonzy. That's true. She gonna stab me? You are blind, so I can't see her. Obviously, <laughs> you're just proving her point. Who said that? Who said that? Oh man, that was creepy though. She should have snuck up on me like then and there. All right, we'll take this way. Volume's fine. Okay. I do hit the high notes, though. I was worried during Andromeda that I hit too many high notes and I'd start busting people's eardrums. Is this... Oh, is this the one we found? It was. Oh, okay, so this one was different. Down here. We came that way. So that one was different. Okay. Right. Can't, can't climb up that now. Okay, fine. I also really wish your Inquisitor would just say more about their hand a little bit. Like, you can headcanon it, and that's fine and fun and dandy, but, you know, it'd be nice. I destroyed you from up here. Oh dang, you moved under the- You, you knew, guy, you knew. Uh, this one. Immobilized. Are you dead yet? Not dead? Yes dead? No dead? Where are you going? Is he hiding? He's hiding. This one. No, what? No! Primer for these? Yee! Also, I'm pretty sure Gatlock explodes a lot bigger than that. Like, there's a reason it's universally feared. Oh, hey, can I go across there? Yes, no. Kinda. Kinda access! 
this is a place that needs backtracking. Yeah, you got a mic recently and made a test recording. And your voice sounds much higher than you thought. That's one of the reasons when I when I very first started recording Mass Effect 3, I tried I actively tried to speak lower and in like more monotony sounding because I didn't want to be one of those like YouTube girls who's like, hi, how's it going? Oh my gosh, hey, look at my boobs. <laughs> you know? I didn't want to do that. So I was actively trying to make my voice lower, and then I just, you know, I got to too involved with everything I was doing to worry about it, so. You have five points left to spend. You have a heart, Caillou, you're ridiculous. No power is just, that's good to know. No power is just passive. I was having major trouble though with, when I first had my assault rifle and my pistol out, they were shaking all over the place, Caillou. And I was really surprised that you were enjoying the combat because it seemed for me that like, the weapons were like, they were all, they were shaking without me even moving. And once I put a point into each one, they stopped shaking. So yeah. Also, you sound a little Australian? Nice, Lemon Z, nice. Nice. The Bridge of the Stone. Let's see, I think, I don't have it selected, so I gotta, I should probably have it selected on my map. Oh, hey, you're an enemy. Don't throw that spear. Oh, you can't see me. I'm in stealth, you big cheater. Oh, crap, there's somebody behind me. There's somebody behind me. There's somebody behind me. I have a hide advantage. Me and Dorian will take you on from up here. Oh, come on! Okay, there we go. Hey, you, stop! Peace. Oh, you're still alive back there. Nice. Oh, she's immune to being panicked. Or he. I can't see. It doesn't surprise me that uh, it, it would. Primer should be nearby. It would make a lot of sense for the Kunari to be immune. A lot of Kunari to be immune to uh, panic spells. To me, anyway. Little sketches of the statues. Did the agents of Veneral cause trouble in the crossroads? I wish I knew. I wish whoever fights in the name of the old wolf was around to fight when the darkspawn took my clan. Mine is not the question. I have chosen the Q, and the Q will protect me. There he is, Dwarven. Hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna take a bathroom break real quick, guys. I'll be right back.